Hey guys, this is Brian at Obedia, and I'm going to give you a quick tip today on how we can make use of Audio Suite plugins in Pro Tools to add some cool effects to our audio clips in our timeline. Audio Suite plugins are audio effects whose effect can be applied to an audio region in your timeline. Uh, when you add a audio suite effect to a piece of audio in your timeline, you will create a new region which will have that new effect applied to the region which you have created. So this can be really cool for going in and adding delays and other effects to small pieces of your audio or you might find that you want to add that effect to the whole thing. Now. Keep in mind, these are not real-time effects, so when you apply them to your audio, again, you're going to be processing the audio and creating new audio regions. So that's something to keep in mind anytime that you are going to be applying Audio Suite plugins. That said, let's go ahead and jump in and do a little bit of Audio Suite plugin wizardry here. In this Pro Tools session that I have open, I have some drums right here. And let's say that I wanted to add a little bit of delay to, let's say, oh, the first four bars or so of this drum loop that I've got. So I'm going to go ahead and just set my transport to about four bars in, and then I'm going to hit Control e on my keyboard, and on the Mac this would be Apple E. This is going to create a, a trimmed region right here, just a new region that I can add my effects to. You'll notice that if I select it, I only have this current region selected rather than if I were to select the rest of my region. So I'm just going to go ahead and select that. Now, depending on how you want to apply these effects, you may want to make a selection that goes a little bit outside the region that you've created uh, so that you don't have an abrupt cutoff of your effect. But in my case right now, I'm just going to go ahead and select this one region and just apply my effects to that. So now let's go ahead and have some fun with the Audio Suite plugins. I'm going to click on the Audio Suite menu and let's go down and go to Delay and let's make use of some ping pong delays. So I'm just going to click on that. This is going to open up the ping pong delay Audio Suite panel. Now what I can do here is make use of all of the different controls for this plugin and kind of tweak my sound to my liking. And, you know, really you just want to kind of play around with this and then after you've made some changes, hit the preview button and you're going to be able to hear the effect being applied before you fully apply it to your audio. So that's a little too crazy, obviously. I might bring my delay amount down. Okay, getting a little more delay right there. Now, I can also have fun, of course, with some presets. Presets are always a great way to start. You can just click on the preset browser here at the top, select a new preset, and then preview it. I actually kind of like that one. And, of course, I could tweak it a little bit to my liking. I could drop the feedback a little bit. So you can see how I can add this effect really quickly. So once I've found a sound that I like using one of these Audio Suite plugins, I just need to go ahead and click Process. When I do that, a new region is going to be created over here in my Audio Regions list. I can continue to process the audio, or I can just go ahead and close up the plugin, and now I can listen to the playback of my audio with my new effect which I've placed on it. So you can see that that's kind of an abrupt cut right there when the delay ends because I only applied the Audio Suite plugin to the region which I had selected, it cuts off right when that region ends. So you may want to be selective about how you apply these effects because anytime that you do, of course, you could bring in some unwanted sounds or you could make things sound a little bit abrupt overall. But 
great thing about this is that you can really quickly add an effect. So if you were, let's say, working with a vocal and you knew that at the very tail end of your vocal track you wanted to add a delay, you would simply need to make a selection to your vocal. And I'll go ahead and show you guys as if this were a vocal piece of audio right here. We'll just go to the end. So let's say that right here we wanted to add some delay to our very end of our drum track right here. And this is really easy to do. All I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and make a selection and I'm going to drag my selection down and take it past the end of my clip right here so that this way I can apply this effect further even after the audio has ended. So again, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to go to Audio Suite, I'm going to go to Delay. Let's just use regular Delay this time. And now I'll take a look at some presets again. Let's try just some 16ths right here. And again, we'll go ahead and we're just going to play this back and see how it sounds. So that's pretty good. It's maybe a little too quick, but... Again, you can really experiment with this and find the sound that you like the most. And of course, once you find the one that you like, simply click on Process. Pro Tools is going to process the audio. It'll create a new region here in your Regions list. Go ahead and close up your plugin, and now when we play this back, we'll hear this effect being applied to the tail end of our drums right here. So there you go. This is a cool way to be able to add effects to pretty much any audio which you are working with in Pro Tools. And you'll want to experiment, of course, find the audio suite plugins that you like the most and the settings that you like the most for your own personal production style. But using these tools, you obviously have quick and easy access to a wealth of different effects which you can add. I hope you guys found this useful. As always, keep in touch with me at brian at obedia.com. Find me on Twitter at twitter.com forward slash obediatutor and on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash obediatutor. Thank you guys for watching. Happy music making to you, and I'll see you next tutorial.